What's up guys, it's Hunter from Weekends on the Water. I wanna start off this video with uh, asking you guys, please subscribe. I'm almost to a thousand, that's my goal. Uh, it's my first goal for the channel is a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. Uh, if you're not signed into YouTube, it's very easy. They don't they don't bother you with emails or none of that. It's a, it's a good app. So uh, if you guys should subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this weekend was 4th of July weekend. We had a good 4th of July weekend. Uh, Saturday we stayed, or we hung out at the river. And uh, yesterday we hung out at Kyle's house, cooked some food, put his action back together. The action with the 280 I did a video on. Uh, some of you may know that he, well the steering broke on it, about 70 mile an hour, and took a hard right hand turn and it slung him into the side of the boat, uh, cracked some ribs, or broke some ribs and uh, ruptured his spleen and uh, punctured both his lungs. So he was in the hospital for a while, but we're glad he's he's, he's all good. The boat's back together, but uh, that was it for our 4th of July weekend. But two weekends from now, we got the Alva run, our local run here, the second one of the year. We do one in January, one in July. Tristan does that run. Uh, Friday, they're running the Royal Martins. And Saturday, we're hanging out at the island. Both nights, we're going to Boathouse to hang out. But that's uh, that's the update for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Please don't forget to do that if you're not already. But I got the Grand Sport out. I just washed it. And it's summertime here in Florida. It's hot. Uh, and rainy. In the afternoon, it rains a lot. So I left it out all day for the carpet to dry. That's the one thing I would like to change on the Grand Sport. Or I'd like to do sea deck in it instead of uh, instead of carpet. But I want to do some explaining on what on my setup, what I got. Uh, this is what I'd like to do on other people's boats. Uh, I'm gonna start off with with mine. Then I'm gonna do probably all of our Alva crew, and then I'd like to do other people's boats. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hurried up and got her all covered up before the rain hits, because it rains every evening. Started the sprinkle as I was putting the tarp on it, but. I wanted to start this one off, tell you a little bit about myself, because that's how I'm gonna do it with other people. I'm gonna ask them questions about themselves, uh, like how I got into it and stuff like that. So Tristan, one of my best friends, he, uh, he's he been into it his whole life pretty much. His grandpa was into it and his dad was into it. Now, as you've seen, if you've watched some of the other videos, he's got some of his grandpa's boats. He's got the white and purple STV. Uh, Colton was into it too, so I, I rode with Tristan and his needle nose, one trip out to the uh, to the river, and I went to Palaka with Colton and the Viper, and the following weekend I bought my Armstrong. Uh, I've been hooked ever since. I first got the Armstrong about four years ago now. I started the weekends on the Water Channel for for the race boat stuff. Uh, there's not much on YouTube for the race boats. You get home, you just want to relax, watch TV. Uh, there's not much good on TV anymore, so I resort to YouTube, watch a lot of drag racing, mud trucks, hunting, fishing. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube. Just uh, not much for us if you're in, into these style of boats. Uh, I'm not not much of a talker, I'm more of a listener. I feel like you can learn more that way. Talking in front of the camera was hard to get used to, but I, uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Hopefully you guys agree. I feel like some of you guys are liking it, so I'm gonna continue doing it. And also, I'm big, I'm big on the engine sound. I love the, I, I don't like when there's music covering up the, the videos because I wanna hear, I wanna hear the boats come by, hear how they sound different. I love the sound of the, the boat hitting the water, the pad on the water, uh, the sound of the engine. You could, some of the boats are turning more RPMs because of the props. I just, I just like listening to all that. I'm a marine diesel mechanic for Caterpillar, or Miley's Diesel, we're an authorized Caterpillar dealer. We only do Caterpillars. Uh, that's what I do for a living. Uh, I sold the Armstrong to a good friend of ours, Nick, and uh, bought this Grand Sport. And I have little to no complaints about it. This boat is awesome. I love the way it rides. Uh, all speeds, cruising speeds, wide open, loaded down by myself. I have no complaints with this boat at all. Like I said earlier, I'd like to do some sea deck in it instead of the carpet. My normal river riding weekend is right here in the Caloosahatchee River. We do do all the river runs here in Florida. I've been to Tennessee. All of them are great. I love just being around the people. The people in this community are awesome. Uh, being around the race boats, watching them run, just hanging out. 
it's always a good time. But now I'll get to the close up videos and the details on my boat. Thank you guys. So this here's my baby, 95 Allison Grand Sport. It's in pretty decent shape for the, for the year, 27 years old, the same year I was born. Uh, when I got it, it was pretty faded. Colton uh, did a lot of buffing on it. She cleaned up really nice. Uh, it shines up really good. Just wash it, wax it before I put it away, cover it up. I don't have a barn for it yet. Just cover it with a tarp. The fastest I've had it by myself, I've had it 96 miles an hour. Uh, loaded down just yesterday. I ran it 94 miles an hour with three of us in here. Still playing around with props. I got a factor of Mariner cowling. And uh, so I painted the midsection to match it. I think it ties in nice with the interior. It's just a 200 EE block built by D's Nuts, Dave Draffert. Uh, car motor, velocity stacks, heads with some port work, and a lightweight flywheel. She does the job. Starts up no problems every time. Have no lip. I shaved the lip off. This is Tristan's 30 small ear chopper. I love all the storage in this boat. The rigging is, uh, I rigged everything to the port side. So that way I buy myself. I don't have to have much counterweight. The, I love the interior, the space in the interior, all the storage, storage in both gunnels. Seats five. Running 12 and a half inches of setback, about five eighths of an inch above the pad. Uh, that's what I was running it with the Bob's case. It ran nice like that. I only had 10 pounds of water pressure. Now I'm spiking 35 pounds of water pressure. So I'm gonna go up with the motor. Uh, I gotta convert it to fat shaft. That's why I'm still running Tristan's prop. Uh, so when I go to fat shaft, I have to get a flow torque and a different prop. But I think that pretty much covers everything on my Grand Sport. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. See ya.